And it's a hell of a burden for Sudal Quickstep, who've done most of the work today, and they pick it back up. They're happy to do so, Brian. Here we go. Yeah, the difference of two days yesterday, they had no help whatsoever chasing Vingigo and Lander. Now they're two riders in the breakaway all day, really wanted to try and win this stage. And uh, they're in the driving seat. They've got Baggiola and James Knox in this group. They've got Mauro Smith in here, so three riders. Mauro Smith, I would say, would be one of the fastest in this group. So looking good for uh, Sudal Quickstep. And in fact, you can just see behind, they're starting to send a couple of the team cars up. So a lot of the, the commissars thinking that, you know, this group is not going to come back. Uh, Henrik Mass is here. He'd, he'd, uh, he'd like to, to deliver, but it's likely to be Ruben Guerrero, I'd have thought. Baggioli and Ma or Maro Schmidt, not quite sure. They're both here. Um, Vingigo himself may well start to uh, think about having a sniff, but uh, to be honest, with so many quick men who've actually found themselves in this part, uh, Jonas Aguirre would be my bet if it wasn't being pounded at the moment by uh, Sudal Quickstep, who are doing a, a fantastic job. Having firepower, 21 seconds, they've given up the ghost behind Brian, 1,600 metres to go, here we come. Yeah, it's not coming uh, back at all. Now, it got very, very close, but uh, not coming back. Courtesy of Sudal Quickstep, they acted very, very quickly there. They realised the gap was there. Um, Attila Walter was the, the rider for uh, Jumbo Visma that was riding on the front, but James Knock straight to the front, put the pressure on. Baggioli as well, now trying to lead out to Mauro Smith. Who can compete with Mauro Smith? That's the question. Well, um, I've got a feeling it might well be Shelmos. Let's wait. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Uh, Mauro Schmidt in a in a great place with essentially a lead out uh, for Movistar, Enric Mass and Guerrero. Uh, and it's Mass that's leading Guerrero at the moment, so he's going to have his chance today. There's Jonas Aguirre, and it, straight by him goes uh, Valta. Uh, Vingago can't find him, cannot find Schmidt. him. I don't know if he's going to get on the radio. Schmidt is straight on the wheel. You see when uh, Valter went there, uh, Mauro Schmidt is uh, straight on the wheel. Iran is also uh, just behind him, but there's a tricky dog leg coming up with only a few hundred metres to go. Sobrero is just speared by. Uh, this is a great guide that's going on at the moment with Henrik Mass. Uh, 450 metres, they have a double uh, a double phase, two roundabouts, but it's essentially a hairpin. Uh, you'll see that. So uh, they go uh, into this corner. I haven't seen the Flam Rouge just yet. Yep. There we are. We're inside the last few hundred metres here, yes, Dalton, and uh, uh, Mauro Smith's been pushed back. 4.50 to go. Now then, who's got it to, to pick up at a moment such as this? And here comes Vingigo. Uh, who else uh, is, is in the frame here? Oh, my goodness. It's a, it's a drive for the line. Rigoberto Aran thinking about it, uh, picking up through the centre. Uh, can't offer it up for Schmidt Higita. just for the time being. Higita's uh, got his head down. He's going for the, for the barriers. But who's going to stop him? Nobody is the answer. Oh, my life. Well, on a tough day, sometimes you've got to have a tough demeanour to come through and steal it at the very last. And this is going to be a country mile until we get back to everybody else, Brian. It is. It was uh, a well one there from uh, from Higita. Just noticed that, uh, you know, Taylor Walter uh, on his way with Mauro Smith and into that double phase corner. Um, Mauro Smith got pushed back out of position, came round that corner, and um, Higita just, you know, surprised everybody, never surprised you know, many because he could, he could sprint finish, but uh, Baggioli tried, but Baggioli had already been riding a lot in the run in, I just think that Sudal Quickstep messed that one up completely with uh, Mauro Smith, he was too far back out that final corner and had nothing in the legs to, to come back there was a lot of disengagement there. Um, you saw the desire as well for Attila Velta to guide uh, Vingigo. They lost each other as well. They almost uh, started to lead Rigoberto Aran into the frame. Sergio Aguita for Bora Hansgrohe uh, gets, uh, uh, gets the day. You saw the uh, sprint being led in there, the, uh, the, those following on in the second group, and uh, it was Ethan Hayter that crossed the line first. Take us through this, Brian, this double phase to take us to 4.50. Well, Baggioli was in third place there. It was being led out from uh, Movistar, and Guerrero was there. But just see Aguita starting to open up his sprint on the right-hand side here. But Mauro Smith is down the left. Look, he had so much to do. Uran was there, Vingigo uh, just got, kind of pushed onto the barriers a little bit there. Baggioli was coming back there, Guerrero. But on the left-hand side, coming quickly with Schmitz and uh, Skelmoz, but you can see the banging of the bars there where Mauro Schmidt just get pushed out of it. Higita wins from Baggioli, but, um, yeah, a very disappointed Mauro Schmidt. That was for the taking there, and he completely messed that up in that double phase of corner.